What's up, Internet? My name is Matt Gisantana. Welcome to The Office, where we discuss tech and the world around it. I'm very excited today to unbox the AirPod Max. Now, this is a very controversial device because it is $550. And in comparison to what else is out there on the market, it is extremely overpriced, maybe about 200 bucks. That's been the media coverage so far. As someone who has used the Sony um, MX-1000 Mark IIs, uh, I did a video review of that. If you wanted to check out that, I'll have it linked above and below. I'll have it linked above and below, but this is Apple's entry into the over-ear headphone market. They're marketing this as a very high-end, high-fidelity, with spatial audio, you know, the whole AirPod suite, you know, quick switching between devices and everything. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna unbox it, give you guys my impressions. And also I'm gonna try it out with a couple of devices that I have around the office just to see if it works. Uh, there are some additional accessories that I will throw up on the screen that you can purchase with this. You can purchase additional ear cups as well as a $35 lightning to third, lightning to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter and it's not even that long of a cable so i wanted to try something today and see if it works with the original lightning to 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter and see if it works but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing i got everything ready to go let's do it all right so on the packaging, on the front, you're getting very, very nice, clear uh, indication of what color you got. As you can see, I have the green. There's green on the side and also green on the back with the <laughs> with the smart case. Oh my gosh, this smart case looks hilarious. Um, so let's get it unboxed. Let's see. Fail. Did y'all see that? Wow. Not off to a good start, guys. Not off to a good start. But anyway, all right. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. I'm super hyped because I want to use this. I'm super hyped because I want to use this with watching movies on the Apple TV. I don't have a surround sound system, so I wanted to check these out to see if they're really worth it. Um, obviously, they're not worth the price, but they may be special. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Whoa. I'm gonna set this top off to the side. And I am happy to report that this is not a white. This is a mint color. Wow. So first off, these feel very substantial in the hand. Definitely feel very premium. I'm very curious to see how these fit on my head. So let's check this out. Let's see what else we get. Paperwork. How to pair them, how to connect them to other devices. And a lightning to USB-C cable. So let's go ahead and set these back in. Set that down. Whoo we these feel super, super premium. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Where do you turn this off? Oh. Oh, I like how the case is a more military green. There it is. This looks like. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So this is a more military green, which looks amazing. Um, the case is really weird because it's just it's not very protective. If you can see it only covers the bottom part doesn't cover the sides so not very protective um so let's go ahead and take it out the case for the first time this case is nice it does feel premium but it's just not a very protective case oh wow let's 
to kick this off. I also reached out to you guys on Twitter and Facebook and asked you guys, what should I listen to first? What's the very first thing I should listen to? And I'm going to pull up that list from Facebook and Twitter and check out some of the suggestions that you guys have. Um, so here's the removable ear cups. As you can see, it's pretty cool that you can take these off. Um, they come off pretty easy, but they feel secure. Um, I'm, I am definitely going to change these out to a different color. Uh, the aluminum feels very cold to the touch. The telescoping mechanism here feels very, very solid. You guys can see. And yeah. All right. Let's uh let's pair these up. Let's see what they sound like, you know? All right, so let me get I got my track ready. First things first, let's go ahead and power these on. You hit the button, it's in pair mode. It's now telling me I need to do a software update. So I needed to do the, I have to do a software update right out of the box. I have to do a software update to iOS 14.3 on my device. And I think that's to take advantage of maybe spatial audio or some options. It says iOS 14.3 includes support for Apple Fitness Plus and AirPods Max. Uh, also includes Apple Pro Raw for iPhone 12 Pro and other pri privacy information on the App Store. So yes, this is something that you will need to do before you update your iPhone. This is something that you'll need to do before you can actually use this pair of headphones. You need to have iOS 14.3. So let's give it a chance to update and I will be back with some listening tests and I'll let you know my thought. Okay. So upon putting these on already, the, I don't know if the noise cancellation is on. Hold on. Okay. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, so I just turned on transparency mode and everything in my office sounds as if I'm not wearing these headphones. Uh, with the AirPod Pros, transparency mode would essentially take the noise that you would be hearing but are blocked by the AirPods and they then bring them into the, the earpiece of the AirPods so that you can hear better. So basically it amplifies your surroundings so that you can hear things. If you're trying to listen to music or a podcast and you're like on a train or you're somewhere where you still need to hear things, transparency mode is a great way to do that. This has transparency mode, but since these are over ear headphones, they're much harder to take off than AirPods. And so to prevent you from having to go like this to listen, transparency mode has to work a lot better on headphones like this. I had this on the Sony mark twos not the mark fours that are currently out and everybody is comparing to this but i had the mark twos and they weren't that great with this i have not tested the mark fours the sony pair so i don't know if they've gotten better but this right here sounds significantly better than the mark twos and the airpod pros one thing I've also noticed is that they're super comfortable around my ear. I don't have earrings in right now, but I must imagine if I did, they would fit very well because the ear cups are shaped in a oval shape so that you don't uh, impact anything on your ear. They're very comfortable to wear with glasses. My glasses are not, as you can see here on the side, you can see that the glasses are being hit by them. Still very comfortable. They fit nicely on my head. Definitely wouldn't do any activities with this. This is meant to stay at home and enjoy your media. Um, but wow. Yeah, this is a really good fit. Um, I'm interested to see how long I can wear these without any fatigue. 
I do plan on using these for monitoring YouTube videos as well as listening to media and podcasts and things like that. And also voice calls. So I'm going to test out voice calls and let you guys know how that works. Uh, let me. And when you turn on noise cancellation mode, I'm probably screaming right now. I apologize, but I can't hear myself speak. I really can't hear anything. Noise cancellation over the ear headphones are more effective than AirPod Pros or any type of buds. So there really isn't a comparison there. I'm not going to try to say these are better because they are only because of just physics. I mean, come on now. But anyway, um, I think that I'm going to try out the iPod while this is still updating because it's taking longer than I want it to. So let me let's try this. Let's plug this in. And plug this in here. Now, one thing about iPods that I miss is the fact that it was just so easy to use. You could download music. So let's uh let's test this out. All right. What song should we test it with first? Uh I'm gonna do childish Gambino. I'm gonna do something from Because the Internet. Let's do Flight of the Navigator. That was a good, uh, had different sounds going on. Y'all ready? Uh-oh, it's not working. Oh, wow. It's not working. I wonder if you have to have the lightning to 3.5 that came out with this headset. I wonder if you have to buy that. Um, so out of the box, without being paired to any device, you cannot plug this in to an iPod. Now, maybe I need to buy that, that cable that they sell for $35. I don't know. I'll have to test that out and see. But using the Lightning to 3.5 dongle that came with the iPhones a couple years ago when they removed the headphone jack, uh, does not work this way. I mean, let me take off this adapter and see if this works. Nope. Wow. Doesn't work. So. Interesting. That was disappointing. I really wanted it to work with my iPod because iPods are one of the best ways to get some of the best sound. Um, so, you know, if I have to buy that $35 cable just to use it with my iPod, which I don't plan on buying that cable anyway, that, that still sucks. I mean, you really shouldn't have to do that, but oh, well, you got to pay to play. So while we're waiting here, I'll go ahead and give a tour of the device along the bottom. You have your lightning jack. You have some noise cancellation microphones. Here's all of the microphones. Here is, I think, a wireless strip. Here's more microphones, more microphones, more microphones. And also you have your noise cancellation transparency mode button. Here is the dial. It has white on it. You can get closer there, you can kind of see. Uh, that is really good for volume control and pause, play, answering calls, Siri, things like that. Um, people have complained about the placement, but I think that it's actually perfect because if you hold this in your hand and you have this on your head, your, your index finger falls right here. 
So you're not really supposed to go like this. It's really like this. So you hold it, kind of have it on your head and go like this. And I can show you, demonstrate it. So while you're using it, you're essentially just kind of going like this. And that's it. That's really the design here. Um, you have the telescoping ear pieces. It feels very, very sturdy, very, very solid. You also have this mesh net. It looks white, but it is a very, very mint green. I do expect it to look dirty after a while. Um, after a while, these headphones do have a extra articulation point. So if you pull, 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 you do have that. I think that does allow for some additional comfort adjustments. Overall, a very solid pair of headphones. You can lay them flat like this. They only turn this way that far. They don't turn completely the other way. Um, They don't stand up by themselves outside of the case. You need to have the case. Uh, these also do not turn off. These never actually turn off. They work a lot like the AirPod and the AirPod Pros where you just use them and when you put them down, they're going to automatically shut off. If you take them off your ear, they shut off. If you put them back into the smart case, they will go into a low powered state. That will allow you to um, get better um, battery life if you were to just lay them down and for some reason there's still audio playing to it um, there might be a possibility that the that the headphones may take longer to shut off which will you know waste your battery uh, they are anticipating 20 hours of battery life on this I will test that out and let you guys know in my review uh, but so far I am very pleased with the build quality the only thing I have left to test is the audio quality, which is the most important. And I'm waiting for my iPhone to update. Okay, so I am back. I have officially updated my iPhone to iOS 14.3. Disclaimer, make sure you guys do that before you try to use your AirPods Max because it took forever. So I'm going to test this out now, finally. Um, so let's go ahead and get this turned on. There it is, it's doing the unlock to connect. It's got the beautiful animation. That looks so cool. Noise control, that's the button to switch between noise cancellation and transparency. Uh, let's hear immersive three dimensional audio from supported videos that follow the movement of your iPhone. See and hear how it works. Place AirPod Max on your head to try spatial audio. Here we go. I heard the little tone that it detected that it was on my head and I heard the noise cancellation turn on. This is stereo audio playing right now. All right. Let me go back into the audio thing so I can see what it sounds like. Okay, spatial audio is on now. Okay. I'm moving around because there's a speaker in front of me. I can hear it. And there's one, I just hit my microphone. There's one to the right. There's one behind me. There's one behind me right here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. All right. Let's listen to the audio. All right. So first things first, we're going to try out some new Kid Cudi. Um, let's do 
dive. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Kid Cuddy humming. Kid Cuddy's humming right now. Yeah. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Goodbye. You didn't. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to play the whole song. Did not mean to play the whole song. Hold on. I just listened to Kid Cudi Dive, and the first thing that I noticed was how balanced the audio is. And I'm probably yelling. Let me turn off. Okay. I'm sorry. So I listened to. Kid Cudi Dive and the audio was very balanced. The balance comes from the lows, mids, and highs. I'm not an audiophile and I'm not technical with it, but pretty much low end being bass, mids being the clarity and the mid tones, and then you have the high being like the trebles. Um, all of that was very well balanced. And I think that is really key for a pair like this to be able to understand what type of music, what genre of music is being played and to balance it out beats has been very known for heavy bass and almost so much that it drowns out the words. This sounds very, very clear. I felt like I was in a studio environment listening to mon monitor headphones or I was in maybe a club. Now I wouldn't say a concert, but more like a club where there was a lot of bass that you could feel and hear, but it wasn't too drowning out the words or anything like that so that was hip-hop let me try a different genre here so let me try uh let me try some pink floyd somebody suggested that um dark side of the moon was one of my favorite so let me do oh yeah So with this Pink Floyd, I can tell you already that it sounds super clear. But the tones is very warm. It's still on the low end. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that was it. All right, so... Let's check out some uh, Frank Ocean. We're gonna do nights. We're gonna do nights. It's the ultimate test. Although you got Buku family. So, whew, the next thing that I'm going to test out is Tenet. So Tenet just came out last night at midnight and I'm talking loud. Okay. All right, so the next thing I wanna test is Tenet. I don't know if you guys have heard about this movie, but it was controversial because of the audio. Christopher Nolan does really weird stuff with audio, and a lot of people were complaining about the fact that they could not listen or hear any of the dialogue. So I'm going to try to see if $550 headphones will help you hear Tenet with no subtitles. So let's test that out. Now, this is a good chance to test out the spatial audio. All right, this is the part where I was like, what the hell are they saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> I can hear Tenet. <laughs> Oh, this sounds amazing. You can hear the gunshots from different rooms. Oh yeah, this is tough. Okay, so. Musically, this sounds amazing. I just tested it out with a movie that I know is very difficult to hear and has a lot of different dynamics with audio. Um, this was pretty dope because I just got to hear when the gunshots were going off in a different room, you could hear it. And then you could hear the other people like screaming in that room. 
um it's a definite it's a different level of immersion that I haven't really experienced because I don't really listen to movies with headphones on all the time. So I can't really compare it to another pair of headphones. I do have an open back pair of headphones that I use to listen to um, that somewhat give that like open airy feel as if you're watching a movie uh, in a studio or in a theater or something like that. Uh, but so far, these are really, really good headphones. I'm very pleased with them. I will let you know in a full review whether that these are something that you should spend your money on. Obviously right now, I don't think that these are worth it. They're $200, a little bit more than I think they should be. After hearing this price, so after hearing what I've heard today and using this, I will say that I don't think that they are $200 overpriced. I would have liked to see these come at a $399, $429, $449 type price. So maybe $100 overpriced. Um, I definitely think these are more premium and better than the other offerings out there that are it's being compared to. But that's just my opinion. Uh, I have used canceling I have used noise canceling headphones before, the QC35s and the Mark IIs of the Sony pair. I have not used their latest offering, so again, I can't compare it to that. But if you are excited about these, there are rumors that they are coming out with a new pair and it will be significantly cheaper probably about 350. so remember apple bought out beats several years ago so there's a lot of opportunity for audio products you know new speakers i personally use this right here this beats pill this has been one of my favorite speakers for like the last several years not because it's beats but because it charges with a lightning cable and i mean back then when lightning was super popular it's really nice to have one cable to be able to charge all your apple products uh but i would like to see some sort of bluetooth home pod uh, as well as a cheaper version of these for more consumers this is a phenomenal pair of headphones but not worth the price thank you guys for watching stay up